and it'll continue to do that make it lighter there where it was so you get these random marks like that uh, i'm vanessa lemon and i'm an oil painter I live in Carlsbad, California. Uh, I work in oil a lot, but I also work in mixed media, graphite and acrylic on book pages and in different you know, surfaces that are collaged. I, I work in a lot of different ways that way, but my main medium I work in is oil for my paintings mostly. One of these Trikel panels and um, just the raw panel and then I uh, stained it just with acrylic um, but I did it with acrylic and water so that it gives it sinks into the surface a little bit and it gives you can still see the grain this is linseed in here mix it up a little bit and it's just burn umber and um, ultramarine blue but it, it doesn't have you can use whatever colors Probably what I'm going to do with this is a smaller size. I can use some of the thing, tools that I make marks with here that um, <laughs> spatulas that are just kitchen spatulas and wipe out from there. Just taking these little guys, the mops I was talking about, and going in and softening areas to get it to like lose an edge and push back into the background a little bit in some areas. Then when you start to work into, you know, over the top of a softened edge and get a hard edge again, you start to get that depth to read. A little, this is just mineral spirits and drip onto the surface. And you'll see in a second it'll, um, when I do pick out again. It just leaves these funky marks that are kind of unexpected in the way that it was, where it was dripping. So like where that drip is right now, it makes it lighter there. And it'll continue to do that, make it lighter there where it was. So I just continue to do that. Um, and I also will lay it flat in a second. I'll wait for this to kind of do something different there. I mean, usually I have, I want to work this way for a little bit and make a bunch of these panels at one time. So I'll prep a bunch of surfaces and work on this for, you know, several panels um, in one day. So you see the little magic happening there. It starts to show up. Um, and again, kind of like what the drips we're doing, if you wipe away where that was, it'll give these neat things. And these are how, this is how my paintings start all right here I don't have a plan I don't have a figure already figured out you know or a portrait or face in there um, usually I'll see something in there and start painting that into it I definitely like what's happening with the wood grain that's great yeah that's really neat combined with the other marks it's like a, a cliff side. That's really cool. There's a lot of fun stuff in this one to work into. So yeah, you know, I could leave it soon. Maybe I want a little more marks in here, splatters or something. 
but um, which you would have to do now because there it needs to be wet in order for it to pick out but otherwise um, it's pretty close to like as far as a composition goes something that I enjoy a lot of the marks um, that are going on in there and then so it's something that I can also work into and it's going to create um, this chaos that I need to sort of control um, at the same time um, uh, not make me be too um, uptight in how I approach painting into it. <laughs> it's a little bit of the two things happening with me, why I work this way. Um, Ron and I opened our own school eventually and um, we taught in Antillier, you know, classical foundation drawing and painting um, throughout, you know, almost, what, two decades now, so. Well, now it's an online uh, mentorship and it's called Lemonade.com and Lemonade is the way my last name is spelled, which is L-E-M-E-N and then aid as in like help, not like Lemonade. So AID, <laughs> L-E-M-E-N, AID. <laughs> <laughs>